Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number six. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up a MySQL database. And uh, you could do it in two ways in cPanel. So you could use the MySQL database option or you could use the wizard. Uh, so the wizard is just gonna break everything down into a step-by-step -step process. Uh, but I'm gonna show you guys in this tutorial how to use uh, this method and it's the same thing, uh, and I'm gonna explain it step by step as if we were using the wizard. But uh, yeah, you'll have to make sure that you don't skip any steps where the wizard uh, will make sure itself that you don't skip any steps. So let me just click on MySQL databases. Uh, and actually, I wanna open PHP my admin as well. So I'm gonna open that in a new tab. And then let's uh, go to my SQL databases and then give this a chance to load. Uh, so right now, You've got MySQL databases open and we've got the option to create a database. So I just need to give my database a name and uh, that will create the database when I click this button. But let's take a look at PHP my admin first and you can see right now there is nothing here. So uh, like I said in my introduction video, PHP my admin again is it's like a tutorial series all on its own. It's such a wide topic, but this is where we um, will manage our databases. So we'll create tables, delete rows, and so on uh, through PHP my admin, and we can modify databases here. But in cPanel, we have to create our database on this page. So right now you can see that we don't actually have anything in this column, we've just got an information schema, which is something that's gonna be there by default, and you should not change or try and delete this ever. Uh, so it's always gonna be there, and I don't think you can actually delete it, but yeah, just give you a heads up, don't try. Uh, yeah, so now we have this page open and I wanna create a database. So I'm just gonna call it Josie Bay Quinton and I'm gonna hit create database and that is going to create the database. So I've got a success message here, the database has been created. Uh, let me go back and now you can see I've also got a warning that I'm using the maximum amount of MySQL databases because I only have one and I just created it. But you'll see that uh, the database right now has a size of zero because it's empty. And we also have uh, no users assigned to this database. And if we wanna actually use this database, we need to create a user. So let's scroll further down the page. And here we have the form to fill in for users. So I'm going to uh, create a user here and let's just call it uh, Josic Bay user. Uh, password is, uh, I'm just gonna use the password generator. So I'm gonna copy this uh, tick that you've copied it and saved it in a safe place. And you should actually copy this and save it in a safe place. Uh, I don't intend to use this password, which is why I'm not um, saving it. But anyway, let's click create user. And uh, now you'll see that I have successfully created my user. So let's go back. And uh, now you'll see under current databases, we've got the database, but we still don't have a user here. So we actually still have to assign our user to the database. So scroll further down the page, uh, pretty much all the way to the bottom, and we've got add user to database. Uh, you need to select a user, and then you need to select the database. Right now, I only have the one user, and I only have the one database. So let's hit add, and that is going to add Josie user to the database, Josie Bay Quinton. Uh, and it'll only give them the privileges that we tick, so we can tick certain privileges only. But if you're trying to set up a WordPress site or a Joomla site, or I mean, if even if you're creating your own PHP site, you're generally gonna need all of uh, these privileges. So let's just hit all privileges and make changes. And there we go. Now we've assigned the Josic Bay user to Josic Bay Quinton database and let's go back. And now we have my database and we have a user and I can always remove this user from the database by hitting that trash can. Uh, if I scroll further down the page, all the way to the bottom again, current users. Uh, if I forget my password, I can always change the password over here or rename the user uh, or delete the user, but I'm not gonna worry about doing any of that. So now we've uh, actually set up this database and we've set up a user. If I were 
installing WordPress or Joomla now, I would have to take my uh, database name, my username and the password that I created and put that all into WordPress or Joomla and run the installation. Uh, and then Joomla and WordPress would obviously create their own tables and place them uh, in phpMyAdmin. But uh, since I haven't done that, if I come back to phpMyAdmin now and just hit refresh, um, I should have a database here. Uh, sorry, let's just, uh, let's go back to the main cPanel page and click on phpMyAdmin again so we make sure that uh, it reloads it afresh. And there we go. I have my user, or I have my database, sorry, and my user is assigned to this, so it could start making changes, but right now the database is still empty. Uh, and I'm not gonna show you guys how to manage and create databases in this series, but I probably will make a, an SQL or SQL series in future. So for now, that's all I have for you guys in this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to like and comment on this video and share it because it's really gonna help my channel grow. And most importantly of all, don't forget to check out my website, josietuts.com, and I'll see you guys next time.